source here. Today we're going to be working on this Zen Kaiser helmet. It took me forever to get this thing printed with all my printer issues. Probably printed probably about six times about halfway through. But it's got this. Got the v I guess I'd call it. And I have the emblem over there. Got a little work to do on the v in here. Had some shifting. I'll show you when we get to it. Probably gonna break it and weld it back together in the back. Put epoxy putty over the front of it. And I have to work on getting these to line up a little better. I'm not sure what happened. I had some printing issues. Here. And we got some really thin layers. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, also doesn't line up very well. Well, it does, but it's got a gap down here at the bottom, but we'll fix that. No problem. It might just be something to rub it inside, but I'm not sure. But, but yeah, uh, this model is by uh, 3D Command Center. And it's uh, wonderful, especially how fast he got it out. He had it out like a week after the, the first images leaked as Zenkaiser, so really excited to get this one finished but here we go <clears throat> okay I was gonna show you this a little better before I was just trying to see if I could bend it a little bit and it just snapped but it printed like this it must have had a little bit of shift there but everything else printed pretty fine uh, there's a couple things here but we can fill that in that's not a problem this this was the most jarring problem area here, but I'm just gonna weld this together as best as I can on the back side, maybe a little on the front with my soldering iron, and then we'll fill it in with some epoxy putty. And then I also got the helmet tape together here. And I put some masking tape here. I'm going to try to fill this in with some epoxy putty. And then there's a line here right before the filament switched. I was having some clogging issues. I think it was just this filament. I don't know. But I'm going to try to fill in these lines here. I don't know if you can see that. Without ruining the overall shape of this. Some of these just, there's not much I can do about these little deeper ones. Um, Hopefully the filler primer makes those look presentable. And then we're going to do the chin. Still haven't found out a good way to do, to print the chins. Uh, they don't sit flat, so that's one issue. Or if they do, they tilt the helmet. That causes a lot of overhangs, so it's just more supports you're going to need. I tried supports on the chin. I've tried without. Uh, I did supports on this one because it has this line going down, but we'll fill this in with epoxy putty and build this line up so it looks normal. Again, this is going to need a good bit of work, but it's my printer's fault, not the model's fault. And this is the Z seam I found out. My other printer, my Alpha Wise, I printed, I don't know, probably 80 helmets on it, and I never had a Z seam issue. Uh, I've tried editing the profile and Cura for my Ender 5 Plus, but I'm still getting it. So, I'm going to have to sand this off, which is a pain and kind of a bummer, but. We'll get there. So I got the pox putty uh, mixed up here. I'm gonna work on the V fin first and then we will get to the helmet. So, she looks a little rough right now, but again, we're going to sand this all 
once it dries won't be a big deal but uh, that's what we're working with right now um I don't know if this is going to work filling in the sides here, but I did it once before and it turned out okay, but this was a bigger gap than even that. So I'm going to let this dry and then I guess we'll see what we're working with. Okay, and here we're going to start with some 60 grit sandpaper to sand down this epoxy sculpt and the Z-seam on the back of the helmet and some of the higher spots on the V-fin. Then after we're finished with the 60 grit, we'll move over to 100 and do the entire helmet. Alright, next we're going to move on to our first layer of filler primer. Back to sanding after it dries for about a week, um, usually. And this is just with 200 grit sandpaper, just going over the entire helmet again. Then after that, we'll move on to our final coat of filler primer. I should do pretty thick on this one. Finally, my favorite part, wet sand. After we have it nice and smooth, I'm using a flat white primer for this. Um, the gloss just takes too long to dry and I have a lot of issues sometimes with it. So I just like to use the flat white primer from the put a gloss coat on the end anyway. It usually ends up looking just as good. Then after that we're going to mask off the white and we're going to do the red stripe down the middle. If I don't mask off the silver part, I'll go over and paint that again later. But I do mask off the white uh, visor part because it's easier to go over white than it is to go over red with the blue okay um zen kaiju is looking okay going to paint the visor area here i've seen a couple people make this and they don't do any sort of actual like visor they just paint this blue and black from when the helmet's closed, it looks okay. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I have this uh, metallic blue acrylic I'm gonna put on it. I think it's pretty close to what it looks like. It's like two-toned anyway, so I'm not sure how I would do that without thinking about it more, but probably gonna take a couple coats to cover this all up and it wouldn't cover up this little bit of bleed I got here, but other than that, I think it turned out okay. Again, these gaps didn't fill that well. But if you remember from the beginning, pretty much the whole way around here, I had some sort of either uh, under extrusion or something, but it's all pretty wide gaps and everything. So I think it's going to look okay when it's all painted and everything, but we're going to start painting this right now. And here I'm just using a silver acrylic paint marker to do the strip down the middle. It was just a small enough area that I figured that it would be easier to do this than to mask it off and spray paint it. And I never have any luck with brushing on silver. It always looks terrible, but for some reason these acrylic pens uh, cover very well. So that's what we went with here. 
And then next I'm just using a black acrylic paint marker here to do the detail. Okay, and here I'm going to attach the V-fin. Um, I didn't realize that I painted the back of the um, V-fin, so the paint came off here as you saw those first. But I sanded that off and re-glued it and put some accelerator on it, and it worked just fine. I did the same with the emblem. I didn't record that because it just took two seconds. And then here, just putting on a gloss coat, and we're about done. here I'm just adding the magnets to the inside and the elastic on the top. Kaiser done. Um, gonna be honest, this is a little rough. Um, this didn't print well at all, and it's not the 3D Command Center's model's fault. It was my printer. I think I could finally figure it out, but it was under extruding. So the whole way around here, like a whole ring, just under extruded. I had some of the back fill, uh, fail, and I filled that in with epoxy um, sculpt. If you saw. So the back doesn't quite line up as nice as I would like it. Uh, I think from the front it looks good though. Again, I think the real visor has this blue like recessed a little bit and then a, like a clear visor over the front of it. So it, it looks a little different than this, but I, I think this is a very practical way to do this and um, reasonable. I mean, you could probably do the clear visor over it, but this model would have to be recessed more for sure. I don't think you could get it to fit very nice. And, oh, we had failures up here that I had to fix. Um, I don't really like how this emblem turned out. But other than that, I think it's really cool. It's nice having a helmet done. Um, I had most of this done before the series started, but I think we're on episode four at the time I'm shooting this. So, a little behind the ball. They just showed that um, red Zenkaiser, which maybe if I make another one, maybe I'll make it to look like that one. It's just all red and has this white here it's nothing crazy um but then that i really i think the paint turned out really nice uh, this is just metallic uh, acrylic paint i don't know if i ever said that in a video but but yeah uh, 3d command center he was one of the first models i saw when this came out i scooped this up off him a uh, lovely model i probably will repaint it i mean reprint it and then paint it again in the future now that my printers seem to be working better uh, knock on wood but yep yeah. thanks for watching if you have any questions uh comment or message me on instagram or you can comment on instagram too that's fine uh follow my instagram if you want to see build pictures uh daily and uh thanks for watching see you next